everybody. Thanks for joining us. I'm Kate Merrill with this WBZ News Update. Police in Lawrence are investigating two scenes where four people were shot overnight. Police say one of the victims has died. That man was found shot inside a car that crashed on South Union Street. Three other men were shot near a park on the Lawrence Methuen line. Two were taken to Boston hospitals with serious injuries. A third has non-life-threatening injuries. Investigators are trying to figure out if the scenes are connected. A seven-year-old boy killed in a pit bull attack in Lowell, and now city leaders are calling for serious change to dog ownership laws. The boy was chasing a ball into a yard when the two dogs went after him. City councilors now plan to review existing laws dealing with dogs. So far, no criminal charges have been filed in the attack. Parents in Brockton calling for a fifth grade teacher to be removed after allegations of abuse. The alleged abuse happened in mid-September at Brookfield Elementary. One student's father says the teacher asked his son to move, but when the 10-year-old didn't move fast enough, the teacher shoved him. She was suspended for 10 days. The school says a child abuse report has been filed with DCF. The MBTA is expanding a signal pilot program to speed up bus and trolley service. It will now be tested on Beacon Street in Brookline. Commonwealth and Huntington Avenues in Boston and Mass Ave in Cambridge. T officials say the technology extends green light time so buses and trains can move faster in mixed traffic. Now let's send things over to meteorologist Danielle Niles. We're on the Stormwatch Weather Alert, Danielle. We are, Kate, for the rain and wind moving in today and tomorrow. Going to be with us widespread one to three inches of rain localized, street flooding possible, and the gusts to 50 miles per hour will result in pockets of damage and outages. So just some scattered showers around today, although late in the day, some strong to severe thunderstorms will be possible in far western Massachusetts. Otherwise, this evening, a few downpours embedded in there, but it's really late this evening and overnight tonight. Look at that pouring rain coming in from west to East will be with us at times for the Wednesday morning commute. Definitely a, just kind of a nasty day overall with windswept downpours through early to mid afternoon. Leftover showers tomorrow evening, but some steadier rain from the South Shore back down to the Cape will take until the late evening hours to finally kick off the coastline. Flash flood watches up southern Vermont to northwest Connecticut. Several inches of rain likely. Localized flooding potential later on today and tonight. Scatter damage. The wind advisory is in effect from noontime today until 11 a.m. tomorrow morning. So these pot, uh, out are going to be popping out here for the second half of the day. Humid to the next couple days and less humid, but some lingering showers on Thursday. Kate, the sun's back on Friday and it'll be a nice start to the weekend. All right, that's nice timing. Danielle, thank you. I'm Kate Merrill. This has been a WBZ News Update. Have a great day.